Welcome back, friends. I've got another video for you. Thank you, everybody, who's recently subscribed to my channel. So awesome. I was able to reach 2,500 just recently. I'm going to be doing a raffle here at the end of the video. So if you entered the raffle, make sure you watch till the end. If your name was drawn, you contact me and whatnot. So we're going to get into that. My next raffle is going to be worldwide. So once I hit 3,000 subs, I am going to be giving away some sticker packs. It's easy to ship those worldwide. I've had some major problems with shipping even just t-shirts to some of these countries that watch my content that end up winning raffles. Anyways, it's basically several long stories. And I've done raffles a bunch of different ways. There's different ways where I get way more entries and different ways where I get way less entries. I kind of like doing it with less entries. And so yeah, so DM me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, all that goodness. We'll get more content going out to you. And uh, well, before I get into this, one more thing. I am a mailman. I go door to door delivering mail during this whole coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call the virus that's going around that everybody's getting worried about. Um, I've had some customers or some people who receive mail that get pretty mad at me for just random things that sometimes I don't have any control over or that maybe I didn't know because of their address or because I'm not their regular mailman. I'm just a fill-in assistant. And so this neighbor sees me out there every day recently carrying mail on this specific route. I don't know. Maybe she saw some people yelling at me. Maybe she didn't. It was really nice of her to give me this gift card to our local candy store just to sweeten my day up, I guess. Stay well and healthy. So that was a really nice thing for her to do. People, if you can just encourage the people around you, maybe you can't be giving away money. I understand money's tight for some people, but there's different ways where you can just brighten people's day. And we really need to be clinging to each other and be helping each other out during this very difficult time in the world. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna get into this Supreme Week 4 item of the Spring Summer 2020 collection. This is that artist. Uh, he didn't really have a whole lot of cool pieces, but I was able to get his is a uh, tag supreme shirt. I thought it was a cool tag. I also thought it was cool that they had text on the sleeves and on the back. Um, yeah, there's just a few things that made this shirt something that I wanted to grab and I didn't even tell you guys, but there's two box logo stickers in the packaging. Here on the back, you do see this label. And I'm gonna go ahead, open this up. You got warning information on the side here. Don't be using this bag as a toy, anything. And then, oh, this tag on this Supreme shirt, is it the same as the most other one? Yeah, actually it is. At first it kind of looked a little bit different, but I think that's maybe because it's supposed to be not very visible print on this, but that's really visible on this particular shirt that I got from Supreme, but yeah, size large, pretty shrunk. There's the back of the neck tag. There it is. So bright. Oh man, I forgot I had all this stuff on the back. I totally thought it was just little text on the back of the neck and then the tag on the front. And then we got, what do we got on these sleeves here? Got some other tags as well. Alpha, beta. I'm the alpha, I'm the beta. <laughs> Yeah, we got a few explanations for some of his art that he's done or just text around the art and whatnot. We got a little tiny Supreme in black down there. This piece is just a one tube t-shirt upper, so no tag on the inside or anything like that, but it should be very comfortable, standard, comfy, you know, Supreme tee. So there we go. That tag, super awesome, like I said. Can you even see that that says Supreme? I mean, some people can. Most can. Hopefully it works with the colors I picked out today. I was trying to pick colors out specifically for this pink shirt. I don't know what you think. I'll go ahead and step back here. Full fit right now. Okay, yeah, definitely. I like these colors together for sure. I'm going for that Travis Scott look. I should probably be wearing these shoes and not these ones. I mean, they both fit the same outfits pretty much. They've got the same vibes going on color wise. So difficult to choose, but then you got the pink laces. Now, I feel like I really gotta wear these. Oh, I got shoehorns in them though. I'm just gonna leave those be. I'll just let those stay on ice there. Looking all nice. I definitely dig this shirt. You guys, tell me what you think. If you like this shirt, all the crazy graphics on it and whatnot, I mean, why not go after it, right? I kinda like what Ramelzi was doing for this clap. A few of the pieces, I mean, whew, just way too loud. And I don't know, some of those crazy loud pieces, I'm just not going after right now, I don't know. Sometimes they'll they'll call my name, but other times they won't, just, it really depends. Right now I'm using my Supreme Life here to open up this box. I'm gonna now open up my pair of cinders. Here they are. And actually these cinders would also go really well with today's outfit. I'm 
for sure. Except for that yellow spot on the back. Yeah, that yellow spot on the back, that's the only thing. But yeah, these are pretty cool, <laughs> pretty dope. Let's go ahead and take these out of here. I'll show you the box label just real quick for anybody wanting to see that. I think a lot of people were able to get this pair that wanted them. I mean, obviously not everybody. That's why there's resale, but yeah, there's your label. How's that? You like that? That's nice, right? Okay. All right, so one thing you might want to check if you are getting this pair from the resale market and you're getting it for a way too good a price is look at the little tag here. You can check mine to see if yours matches. Should be pretty much exactly the same, most likely. But then again, sometimes it seems like different companies will sometimes get different little tags here. I don't know if that's the same for this pair, but you never know. So let's go ahead, just go over the shoe. This is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Kanye Yeezy, the musical producer, had gone through so many different colorways of this shoe that, I mean, it's surprising that he can still come out with some good ones that people are loving. It does have that boost. I feel like over time, He's been putting softer and softer boost in these. I mean, it just depends on some of them, but this one feels pretty soft. I mean, a bit softer than some of the other 350s, but then again, <laughs> I could just be totally losing it and be wrong. I'm just letting you know, that's what I think. I've had a lot of Yeezy 350s. Anyways, the insole, it's all black. You got black foam, a little bit of a sparkle to it. You've got your uh, torsion system or like a plastic reinforcement down underneath. This, um, this fabric that acts kind of like a cage for the boost, you can see through the fabric to this plastic cage that's in there in with the boost to basically give you some arch support. That is uh, one nice factor of these. You can even feel that hard piece of plastic that's in there, right in that curve of the shoe. We've got full prime knit upper. Has a little bit of give, but not really. There's a cage down here underneath the prime knit for your toes. So your toes are gonna be crammed up to the top of the shoe. That's how the 350 really goes, unless you buy way bigger and then just tie it way cinched at the top and then have the toe box area just totally loose. I mean, that's cool too. You can definitely do that. A lot of different ways to wear these. You can kind of tell there's some transparency to this black stripe here. It really isn't very transparent, honestly, but it does have quite a bit of air ventilation available for you. So I don't think this is gonna be a super hot shoe, even though it is black. But then again, that just goes with any black shoe. They are gonna be a little bit warmer. Let me know what you guys think about these Cinder Yeezys. I mean, an all black, Yeezy? How can you go wrong? I've had different pairs of all black and a lot of them ended up being fake. This isn't quite totally black. It is kind of a dark, dark gray. I guess that's why they call it cinder. It's supposed to be, yeah, like burnt ash or something. And that is similar to what this color looks like, except for this yellow. They didn't quite get it all in there perfectly on this one, but you know, get what you get, right? You think they were a good one to grab up? You think I should have just let them be? You think I should just sell them off and get rid of them now? I think I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit. If I can find somewhere to put them, I'm really, uh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, well, we'll just go with that. Hopefully everybody had a good Air Max day yesterday. And I'm gonna go ahead and break out the Uversion Bible app on my phone. I wanna read to you guys John chapter 17, verse two. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one you have given him. So Jesus is going through a really hard time right now. He is really thinking to himself, really praying and wondering if there's any way he can get out of what's about to happen because this is what he's about to get brutally beat up and whatnot because of his way of teaching, which is to to love each other and to care about each other, build community around each other where you are all helping one another. He's really trying to create that culture, but not everybody agreed with everything he was saying. So yeah, he was about to die. And then this cool verse in 17.2 comes out and Jesus reminds himself that he is going to free every human because of what's about to happen. And so that psychs him up to really be able to show people that this way of love is not something you just give up when people force you. No, you choose his way of love and caring for other people no matter what. No matter what comes your way, you stay on a positive path of helping other people when you can. And you know, tough times are gonna come. Different things are going to try and take you off your path. Stay on target and remember the joy will get you through. It's everything that you need, this love. I mean, and we definitely need it more now than ever. You know, we can say that for reals right now because we're going through some stuff. <laughs> this world is not feeling well. It's getting ill. But yeah, be out there, make a difference. I'm gonna get into this raffle now before I end the video. And yes, yeah, so, okay, here we go. 
All right, I picked one. And, oh, from Lafayette, Louisiana, I am Will underscore established 1982. This person, yeah, you, dude, contact me, do it. One other thing, I've been trying to update my posts on YouTube with what's going on throughout the week. Different things I pick up for different companies and just totally random stuff. Sometimes I'll throw up a live video or a video I recorded on my phone while I'm working and then I'll take it down after a bit. Maybe my thoughts on something like um, this last week. I made a video about the whole Kanye Taylor Swift thing, which yeah, Kanye totally had a terrible view of females when he said that comment, hopefully, his view has changed and he's a better man now than back then when women were property in a way uh, or even humans in general property to Kanye at some point I'm sure but anyways regardless he's a free mind it's good to get those things out those thoughts out if you let bad thoughts fester inside of you and you never get them out that's when you get people who do crazy things that they should never have done and that they should have gotten counseling a long time ago for but they just kept it inside and then blew up so <laughs> anyways if you're that person yeah, talk to somebody. If you have some crazy thoughts, I mean, everybody does. Just prepare your friend, let them know. I mean, make sure you're not telling somebody something who's gonna freak out or take it the wrong way, obviously. But yeah, we should definitely have people to talk to. I'm so blessed to have my wonderful wife, Abby, to talk to. We've been together for over a decade now. I'm just so glad to have her right beside me all the time. So anyways, love y'all and uh, I gotta get to work. And apparently I've gotta do more research for these videos, so. 